in the cities, in the towns and country. We work together. We are many races and religions and nationalities. We are the men and women of America. We are also the children of America. Children of the city and of the country. Light hair, light eyes. Dark hair, dark eyes. The children of America. The children of America. The infant, the youth, the old and the young, that's us. Her ancestors came over on the Mayflower, while he came himself from Italy. Both are people of America. American farmer, American farmer, the people of America. Housewife, businessman, weaver, blacksmith, American. A German doctor, a Swedish mailman, a Polish fireman, an Irish cop, American. We are the people of America, a mixture of the people of the world. America was discovered by the people of the world. Explorers of many nations charted the land and opened it to their people. Columbus of Italy, Balboa, and Pons de Leon of Spain, Sir Walter Raleigh of England, Henry Hudson, and other brave exploring men who sailed their ships into unknown waters and found the land of America. And the land was settled by the people of the world. From Spain, from France, from Holland, from England. From England, many settled on the East Coast, where they grew in numbers and came to consider America their home. But styles change in a hundred years, and ideas change. The children of the settlers became dissatisfied. They began meet talk of freedom, to talk of winning freedom peacefully, or fighting for it. People of the world fought with them. Von Steuben, German. Pulaski, Pole. Lafayette, Frenchman. Washington, American. A battle won, a nation won, to join the other nations of the world who had given us the explorers, the settlers, the patriots, the founders of our nation. Before the nation had been formed, people of England and Holland had settled in the East and Southeast and brought from Africa Negroes as slaves and settled them mainly in the South. People of France had settled in the South and Midwest and people of Spain had settled in the Southwest. But after the nation was formed, more people came. People from North and Central Europe, especially from Ireland, Germany, and the Scandinavian countries, came to America in the early 1800s to the Midwest. People immigrating to America becoming American. People from Asia, many from China and Japan in the late 1800s and early 1900s to the far west. The people of the world in America. But there was movement and shifting of people and intermixing. So the South became not just the home of the English and the Negroes and the French, but the home of these and other Americans. And the Midwest was not a land for only Northern Europeans to cultivate, not only for the French to farm, but a home for all Americans. For the people were moving 
and mixing. Railroads span the nation, joining the parts, helping to move and mix the people. Industry grew, and our great cities with it. People were needed to work in the cities and build them. So many more people came from Europe, from Eastern and Southern Europe, from Poland, from Russia, from the Balkans, and Central Europe, from Italy. Millions of people by the early 1900s from many countries to our country, to our cities, to work. From the other nations, north of us and south of us, more people have come. The people of America, the people of the world. As the people of the world have filled our nation, they have contributed to it. The people of China and Japan have brought their architecture. The people of Spain and Mexico have brought their style. And we use the styles of the French. Much of that which is American is of the world. In sports, football from rugby, baseball from rounders, both English games. Tennis from Central Europeans. Ice skating from Northern Europeans. Foods, spaghetti from the Italians, chili from the Spanish and Mexicans, corn from the American Indians. Then there's our language, the clothes we wear, the books we read. These and many more things that belong to the world are a part of the life of our nation. Yet from all these, we have developed things which are uniquely American. American architecture, forms of steel and concrete and glass. American forms of dancing, American things, the movies, the jukebox, and ice cream cone. Hot dogs, the 4th of July, Thanksgiving Day, Mother's Day. These are some of the things we share as Americans, for we have become Americans through this process of sharing. We Americans are something new, and new generations of us are developing. Playing together, growing together, learning together. We share our many races and religions and nationalities, and we come out the people of America. As we grow older, we work together as Americans, and relax together. And we share the things the people of the world have come here to find. Things we cherish. Our form of government. Our justice. Our elective system. The abundance of food from the fertile soil. The opportunities for jobs and businesses. Freedom of speech. To say what we believe in many ways. Freedom to hear what we want. Freedom to worship as we choose. These freedoms we share as Americans. As Americans, we have cultivated the land and raised the food to feed the people. And we have built the cities that fund the business of the people. The whole world has contributed its people and its people have become Americans. America is a land whose people shared what they knew and worked together. America has benefited and we have benefited. We are the people of America.